So thank you very much uh, for the introduction. Now I try to share my screen. Now let me see. Okay, here we are, I guess. Uh, so hopefully you see my screen. Yeah, everything is right. Everything is right, so that's yeah. fine. Uh, so yeah, welcome to uh, Dagendorf Institute of Technology. So um, um, where, where are we? So um, the location is uh, in east of, of Bavaria, um, even not far away from uh, the university uh, and the University of Applied Science in, in Regensburg, the OTH, uh, which has been presented just before. So um, here you see the, uh, um, let me see, so yeah. Um, here is, uh, is Deckendorf, where our university is, and uh, Regensburg is somewhere here. And here we have uh, uh, Munich, which is uh, actually well known, I think. Um, so you see, we are um, right near to all of the uh, Im important uh, cities, uh, cities in, um, in, in Bavaria. We are near to Austria, we are near to um, the Czech uh, Republic. So, um, well, um, the Master of Electrical Engineering and Information Technology is part of the master, um, or is part of the study programs of the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and Media Technology. So, um, myself, uh, I'm Werner Bogner. I'm the um, the coordinator of uh, of this uh, of this master program. It's a master of science. It comprises uh, three semesters, and uh, uh, in the following, I want to show you a little bit about our university. So we are actually the Bavaria's uh, most rapidly expanding University of Applied Science. So we were founded in 1994. And uh, during these days, um, we have now around about 8,000 uh, students, a little bit more than 8,000 uh, students. So. Um, Maybe interesting for you um, is that uh, we have a quite uh, large uh, international part of students. We have 30% 30, 30 <clears throat> international students. Uh, actually, we have eight uh, faculties, uh, around about 160 uh, professors and the lecturers and support staff. So the um, eight faculties are electrical engineering, applied economics, healthcare, um, natural science, construction, computer, um, European campus, Rotal Inn and mechanical. So uh, the uh, um, program we are talking about is uh, part of the electrical engineering media technology. So, um, well, here you see a picture, a photo of uh, the main campus in, uh, in Deckendorf. It is located in, between the Danube uh, River and uh, the town center of Deggendorf. So Deggendorf is actually um, a town having about 30,000 uh, inhabitants. So it's, uh, it's a quite small town, actually. We have a compact uh, campus where everything is uh, together. So we have the laboratories, we have the, uh, the facilities as uh, the uh, at the labs and uh, um, all the uh, important uh, things which are uh, right at, uh, at the campus. We are near to the Danube uh, River and uh, we have uh, about five minutes walk to, to the town center. So um, the uh, uh, facilities um, of, the, of the university, well, actually we have quite near uh, a quite new uh, lecture theaters, labs and uh, for, for your support, uh, we offer an international office or we have an international office. We have a language center, a career service, student counseling service. So uh, there is uh, quite a lot of facilities which uh, help you uh, in, in, your, in your studies. Um, well, um, the, uh, as, uh, as already uh, mentioned by um, the uh, speakers from the uh, from the other universities, or um, we have here in Bavaria um, many global operating companies. Some of them are uh, depicted here in this uh, in this view graph. 
So um, we have Infineon in, in Regensburg and Munich, uh, BM, BMW's largest um, uh, fabricating facility is, uh, is in Dingolfing, which is uh, around about uh, 30, 40 kilometers away. Uh, from from Deggendorf, we have uh, Continental in uh, in Regensburg, MIN in Munich, uh, Audi in uh, uh, in Ingolstadt, uh, ZF. Uh, uh, they they offer gearboxes and these um, um, electronic drives or electric drives. So uh, there are in 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 Passau. So you see um, quite a lot of of companies around which uh, offer uh, you. Um, quite large uh, variety of possibilities going to your master thesis and uh, maybe going further on um, to, to your work. So um, some informations um, about um, the uh, uh, Master of Electrical Engineering. It is, as already mentioned, a Master of Science. Uh, we started it in, uh, in 2003. So actually we are working around about 20 years uh, with this master program. So we are actually uh, quite uh, uh, familiar with uh, with this with this master uh, program, we have quite a lot of experience in this way. Um, the scientific classification actually is electrical and information. Um, we can start, or you can start, uh, with your studies uh, in uh, winter term and in summer term. So we have two intakes uh, a year, and the total number of ECTS credit points is ninety. Uh, which 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 is equal to this uh, three uh, semesters study program. Um, the aim of the course is actually a expansion of your expertise, of course, which you have gained actually in your uh, in your bachelor's already, and uh, we will expand this this expertise um, for for modern development tasks, uh, particularly in in high tech uh, industries, high tech which is actually around this. Um, which has actually uh, given it, it many companies in, in Bavaria, as, as I have already shown in the few graphs just before. So um, this master is a supplementation of your bachelor's degree. You will gain deeper knowledge um, in uh, some essential fields like um, automation and uh, electronics. And you will gain the ability to work with creativity especially in research and development. So um, the target group are graduates of, of bachelors, of bachelor de degree programs in electrical engineering or information technology, or also in related courses, maybe mechatronics or, uh, or something like this physics. Or so so this, this uh, is what I meant, what I mean with uh, related uh, courses. So um, the, uh, Acquirement, uh, the requirements uh, for admission is a bachelor degree, of course. Um, you should have uh, 210 ECTS credits uh, in your bachelor's. Um, if not, so if you have uh, only a six years, um, uh, a six semester, sorry, a three years bachelor, um, so you can, um, um, you can gain an additional 30 ECTS credit points. Um, uh, by doing a six-month internship, or if you have if you have uh, a two years um, professional experience, so otherwise um, you need uh, 210 ECTS credits from from your bachelor's. Uh, we have an assessment test. We have an aptitude assessment test, uh, which is a written admission test for this uh, for this master uh, program. Um, this uh, test is can can be written online. Uh, all over the world, so you can you can do the test uh, from from your home computer, from from your computer at home, um, all over the world. So there are uh, special dates uh, when you can uh, give this uh, this this test, uh, but it is actually online. Um, further requirements about the language. Uh, so the course actually is given uh, fully in English. So everything can be studied in English. So uh, you need a B2 level uh, of, of English, but uh, as um, some of the um, speakers just before uh, pointed out already, it is important to have some German language at least uh, in Germany, because uh, we are here in, in, in Germany where 
German is the main language, of course, uh, and not, not English. So you will need German knowledge to manage not only your daily life, but also to have success uh, further on when you go to a, a company uh, in, in Germany. So it is a, a full-time course and it is more application oriented as it is typical uh, for, an, for an university of applied science. So um, let me see uh, about the course structure. So um, here on, on top, you see um, the uh, uh, two semesters, uh, three semesters, sorry, uh, of the master study. So we have two theoretical semesters and the third one uh, is uh, the master uh, thesis. So uh, we, have, we have two focuses, um, which is on the one hand, electronics and communication, and the other one, uh, it's automation. So um, we have the possibility, um, or you have the possibility to deepen your knowledge or to widen your knowledge. So that means if you come from a bachelor's, um, which was focusing on communication, so you can uh, go to communications also in your in your masters, or you can also go to automation. So in this case, we have some so-called harmonization courses. So these harmonization courses will give you the basic knowledge, which is necessary for an, a su successful study of the automation focus. So um, here are some courses, or here are the courses of uh, of our program. Um, so they are subdivided into theoretical uh, modules uh, and theoretical and uh, basic uh, modules. Uh, we have the models of the of the key focus electronics and the key focus of automation and some general academics. So uh, the green one are the uh, basics. So this is uh, programming, uh, numerical, and uh, mathematical uh, methods. Uh, which are given in the first and the second uh, semester. And um, further on, you can choose a focus uh, on the one hand, ENS or automation. So you see for, for ENS, uh, we have uh, the electronics part, which is optoelectronics, micro nanoelectronics. And um, for the communications part, we have uh, um, RF and radio devices, uh, um, signals and systems, and also devices and circuits for the electronics part. Um, for, the, for the automation, we have uh, some modeling and simulation, control, sensors, drives, and uh, automation. So this is the focus um, automation engineering. Uh, further on, we have um, a foreign language course, which is German, of course, because you should learn German uh, in, uh, in, in, during, during your, your studies. Um, it is necessary for being successful further on uh, in your in your work at German companies, as already said. So you are starting uh, actually for an intake with A2. So this is the prerequisite. So in this case, this foreign language course should lead uh, to at least B1 uh, level in uh, in German language. The third semester um, has um, uh, the uh, uh, has one lesson, which is uh, business administration. And uh, then you have the master thesis and the seminar where you present your results from the master thesis work. Um, the uh, application um, must be made on our website uh, online on the so-called Primus uh, portal. And the application period is from mid of November to mid of January for the uh, summer entries, so the March entries, and uh, from mid of April to mid of July uh, for the winter term entries, which are the October entries. So uh, the semester dates uh, have been uh, uh, described already by some of my, uh, some of the uh, um, speakers before. So uh, winter term is from beginning of October to end of January and uh, summer term mid of March to um, beginning of July. Uh, these two periods are followed by a three weeks period where we have the exams. So the exams are directly uh, following um, the semester. We have 
also semester breaks, of course. So we have the spring break, which is mid of February to mid of March. And we have the summer breaks, which is uh, August and September. So uh, further information you can get on our website, of course, which is uh, th-deg.de. Um, and uh, as already mentioned, we have an, um, an admittance test for the, for the masters. And uh, just to see what, what, the, uh, what this master admission test is and uh, what the level of this test is, um, you will find also uh, some sample questions. Um, the link is given here on the on the view graph. Uh, further information or more detailed information on on the specific courses we have uh, in our uh, in our program are given on the module handbook, which is also available on our website. Um, for further information, feel free and contact us. So. Um, my name again, Werner Bogner. Um, you, you see the email address. You know, so you can, you can give me an email, you can send me an email uh, if we have any questions to the course. We have also the student and academic counseling and the administration center. We are also available on uh, the social media channels. Just follow us there. Um, to get more insight into uh, the Deckendorf Institute of Technology. Um, well, so far, thanks for your attention. And uh, yes, uh, feel free and, uh, and ask. I think there is a question and answers uh, a session following. So therefore, just feel free and ask. Thanks for your attention.